Welcome back to the Goons Podcast, the best podcast in all of South North Africa. North Korea. Yes, okay. exactly. <laughs> I don't think there's Might any like podcast the in North Korea. Both of those work. <laughs> Might be the best podcast on my street. I wonder if there's best. people in North Korea that listen to us. <laughs> I, I don't think people don't in think North Korea possible. listen to anything. Mm, yeah, I wonder true. if they've seen the Baconator clip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, they've probably seen that one. <laughs> Kim Jong Un probably broadcast it to their TVs every morning. <laughs> oh my god! That's why they this, want to liberate North Korea. So this bad. is what's happening in America. You don't want to go there. <laughs> this is why we don't let you talk out. about. To be honest. <laughs> uh, anyway. All right. Well, so what's on the f- in, uh, what? I mean, what is on the? What is it's <laughs> only been thirty seconds, McNasty. You I'm can't. drinking tap water. Who's drinking tap water tonight? I am. Boys? I am actually drinking tap water. I had tap water before this podcast. I don't have a drink. I had a Dr Pepper, but I burped it all out, so it's gone now. Yeah, we know you burped it all out. How do you yeah, burp out Dr Pepper? Did you like throw it up? You mean vomiting? Did you blow chunks? Well, I just burped the fumes out. So I mean, <laughs> the fumes. Were you drinking <laughs> motor oil? <laughs> Dr Pepper <laughs> gas leak. <laughs> <laughs> Ruining the environment, McNasty. <laughs> McNasty, I feel like you could light a match in your room at any point and it would just spontaneously combust. Like everything <laughs> would just blow up. It's so dense in here, just filled with burp fumes that it just explodes. Instead of a <laughs> carbon most- monoxide detector, you need like a Dr. Pepper fume detector. <laughs> <laughs> that thing would be going off constantly, 24 7. <laughs> just eat. <laughs> Evacuate <laughs> now. <laughs> Y'all can swear now. Fuck it, yeah, fuck dude. a gerbil. Tip, fuck a gerbil. Tip, <laughs> fuck a gerbil. This is when the real fucking goddamn fucking shit ass fucking podcast fucking starts. Uh, whew, glad that's out the way. All right. Anyone's yeah, wondering okay. what the hell that was all about? We cannot swear in the first minute, and uh, yeah, now, now we, we can't swear. Yeah. Fucking crap. I mean, yeah, fuck yeah, we can't. Crap. We can't talk about anything not epic in the first minute. Rock yeah. right. talk on an animal. What? So we chose to talk about people being held in North Korea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I don't know if that. I don't know if that was the best. Uh, Best substitute for swearing. We're brain we'll dead see. if you guys didn't know, pretty much. Yeah, we'll see as long as we're not goes. saying people are fucking captivated in North Korea, uh, then it's okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> right. this I'm is sorry. The, this for is all the... of you headphone viewers, <laughs> we, that was... We, headphone we listeners, about... sorry, I, I have autism. <laughs> can I talk about how you did that in the middle of the, the war face thing? Can, oh, I, yeah. can I tell that story? <laughs> yeah, please okay, tell that so story. We did, a, we did our first uh, sponsored bit as a, as a foursome, as a group. And we you were in the call. Said with- that any gayer. I know. <laughs> <laughs> we were all fucking each other in bed while we played Warface. Our first foursome. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. We just all had a- gay man sex. For the- <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, we were in the call with the developers as well as like uh, as managers and a bunch of other important people. And as they were explaining the game to us. Do burped for a solid three to five seconds. <laughs> Pretty much what I just the, did. The yeah. loudest, deepest burp. <laughs> I th- and you thought, I thought you I was were muted. Deafened. Or met muted, yeah. It was, <laughs> it was, I, had to, I had to mute because I was laughing so fucking hard and I well, felt be- bad, like laughing at that. But right, even. <laughs> they, they were so serious, too. They're like just trying to outline the game and like the things about it. <laughs> that was horrible. Everything yeah. about that experience from a, a working with you guys standpoint was just awful. <laughs> yeah. But Soup surprised me. Soup was actually probably the most professional. <laughs> what of- are you talking about? I mean, I called one of the Russian dev a comrade. <laughs> <laughs> other than calling face. the Russian <laughs> dev a comrade, you didn't <laughs> burp. You didn't say anything too stupid up until when we were actually recording. There was there what? was one time where he talked about his peepee getting hard as he was like transitioning from our server, <laughs> oh, you know, yeah. to our server. So they, you they can hear like the first that. half of you saying that, and then it switched to the server. <laughs> no, he said my do- no, like no, 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 no. I remember what he said. He said my dongus is expanding, and I heard yeah, my, my my I heard my dongus in one server, and then I switched, and I heard is expanding <laughs> in the other server. So all the devs heard was my dongus, and then he left. <laughs> Well, so basically, be, in my defense, I had already joined the other Discord in my. Oh, you when left I, that. I had already clicked on it. Yeah, no, I heard my dongus in there, so they yeah. they heard that. So that was that was the lasting impression <laughs> they had of you. It's just my dongus, right? <laughs> and then McNasty had his fuck button that he kept hitting in the background. Do you have that handy? Oh, I yeah, forgot I did. about that. Uh, <laughs> this, is, this is what he kept hitting while they were trying to describe the game to us. 
<laughs> over funny. and over and over. What's funny it. is, it, I would hit it and say whoops afterwards, like it was like a ringtone yeah. or something. Whoops, <laughs> my bad. But what's funny is, it sounds like you too. So they probably just thought you had like severe Tourette's and were just <laughs> like sitting I was in the car, turning my head away from the mic, just. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be honest, it does kind of sound like you. Yeah. It, does it sound sounds. Like I didn't realize identical. that until I thought uh, it was him. You guys know what that's from, though, right? That dog vine, the Remy dog speak, vine, right? Remy yeah, speak. Remy, yeah, Fuck. Remy speak, yeah. Yeah. Remy sit, and then so, he yells "fuck" because he's a dog. God, yeah, I bet Remy would be really do. good orange chicken. Anyway, <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Remy, cut yourself. Jokes. Yeah, see, that's why we, that's why we got in trouble for the last podcast. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're stuffed. <laughs> All right, do should we move on to an actual topic? Yeah, yeah. that'd probably be a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Or, uh, um, all right, this one actually do you suggest this one? Uh, how do you guys deal with any hate comments or any hate in general? Uh, like how do you deal with it? Do you ignore Mow it or down with a machine <laughs> okay. gun? You've in never game. done that. No Russian. <laughs> I, <laughs> you've literally <laughs> never done any of those things. <laughs> for, for me, I don't really like, I don't know. Whenever I get hate comments, it's literally just like a, a, an offended white person on behalf of somebody else's race. Yep. God, and then I'll see the a best. bunch of comments of the actual race saying, I am this race and I found this fucking hilarious. So it's like, I don't really yeah. take it to heart. It's usually yeah, just it's white knights trying to. Yep. Yeah. Stand yeah, up for other people who didn't ask for it. It's yeah. really rare when someone it, who, uh, that we're actually making jokes about, like their whatever, their race or whatever, actually gets offended. That's really freaking rare. Yeah. I, I cry mean, myself I- to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot imagine I cry you doing and cry that. Cry and cry and cannot stop crying. <laughs> <laughs> I would pay so much money to watch you cry. I know. I feel like Jesus, so funny. <laughs> Just watch wow. me read my comment section. <laughs> Film it. Do it on stream. Sad violin in the background. <laughs> what I do like though is like I always stumble upon like fucking random reaction videos of like black guy watching McNasty offensive moments or something Ooh. like that. Oh, yeah, I, watched watched one that of me. I watched one of me the other other day. He shouted me out. He was like, the soup's guy is pretty funny. Go sub to him. And I was like, hell yeah. I left him a comment. I was saying, yeah, he thing. watches all of our videos. Yeah. I know which guy you're talking about. I've they seen are- a few. I like watched one and just got recommended like 30 others. It's yeah. like every black mm-hmm. person just decided to watch our videos and react. Yep. It's great. <laughs> There's one where this one guy gets offended. I won't name the, the channel name or whatever, but oh, he, yeah, watched, she, he watched the one video where we made like KKK jokes and um, freaking Soup said like, I was like, oh, I want more black fans. Soup's oh, like, why yeah. would you ever want that? Like he yeah, picked okay, that one that. video to react to. <laughs> I watched and he's, that one. And he's, <laughs> like, he's like, these are some racist ass white people I'm watching. <laughs> <laughs> dude, he's dude dog, sweating he's in his chair, just sweating uh, and shivering uh, in his chair. Yeah. <laughs> hey, disclaimer, fucking retards. It's a joke. We make fun <laughs> of everyone, including ourselves. Get over yourselves. <laughs> I you know what's like- funny is the most offended I've ever seen somebody get on my videos, like as a group, is when I did that 9/11 joke where it was like the Overwatch uh, play of the game. I told you not to do okay, that. Okay, yeah, that was. Got mad I, mean- that. I was like, but it was like. The, the clip wasn't even like the actual 9-11. I could have used that. It was literally like a 3D modeling of a plane going into a tower. It's still the same. <laughs> Where did you find that is what I want to know. Where did you just find a random YouTube. 3D model of 9-11? Uh, it was from like a documentary on YouTube. Because they were like, they were showing how it affected the tower when it hit. I just took that and then made a little so you fart thought, noise. Yeah, I'll put that, I'll put, you, you, you thought, yeah, I'll put that in a funny moments video. Oh, yeah. Can Jeej fuel melts Jeej beam? All right, on to the next topic. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I don't even feel like we actually answered that, but I feel like yeah, I guess that's all. I mean, like I feel like everybody's answer is going to be the same with that question because we all obviously we don't take we don't give a good goddamn about hate. I don't even fuck them all. Yeah, like I don't. Comment section hated me one day. That was pretty funny. Why? Uh, Oh wait, was that the one telling you about that? I can't remember. Yeah, you told me about it, and then I checked, and I just said, "Yeah, fuck that guy." I just replied to his comment. Someone was just like. I love when Grizzy McNasty do and soup play. Oh, yeah. <laughs> one, one guy replied, "Was like, I'm glad you didn't include Blark." And I replied, "Just oh, yeah, fuck a whole that guy." Of, it was a whole thread of Blark hate. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't really care. Thread. I got in on it. It was good fun. But uh, yeah, I think that's really the only time I've actually seen like real hate, other than like, complete fucking idiots. 
Oh, I get it. I get it too. Me and Soup have like for some reason this battle that just does not exist, but only exists oh, yeah, through our fans. War. Yeah, your your civil war. Yeah, yeah we've we've talked about that Goons before. How civil this- war. Yeah, <laughs> make the movie. I don't know. Yeah, I just fucking I get terrorized by the McNasty gang. Fuck Soup. <laughs> I don't know what that means. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. They come in my Discord and shit talk me. It's like, dude, what is going on? Where did this come from? <laughs> what if, like, secretly like, behind the doors, I was like sending people to you? They're like, shh. <laughs> hey, I would believe that, you? honestly. If after his outro on every video, it just has a fucking hashtag McNasty Gang Fuck Soup. <laughs> yeah, that's like, I know Soup didn't make it this far. <laughs> so. <laughs> If you guys it's ever so uh, McNasty, we, if you we are, should if start, you ever start doing start that after face. the outro. <laughs> <laughs> McNasty, if you ever start showing your face and you go to like events, you guys should actually have like a war between your two fan bases and an event. That'd be pretty fun. <laughs> that like sounds a like starting a riot, and that sounds like federal prison for both. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, not if it's like a nerf fight or something. You know, mm. something PG. Until so Soup Rock guns, doesn't, it doesn't show matter. up with a nerf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, or actual. Who cares? Okay. Max yeah, no, topic. definitely not. Yeah. yeah. Now let's transition <laughs> faster than goddamn tranny. Anyway, next time. <laughs> now let's right. let him sit with that. <laughs> All right. Um, have you guys ever had any paranormal experiences? I've had one, like kind of, and I don't even know. I was like super little, and I was walking. I, don't, I feel like this was partially because my parents told me that like. Which it is true. That I, there used to be like natives on my land, so like Dude's family used to hang out and vibe where I all was. Right. Um, oh, yeah. And then they and then they all died <laughs> because white people happen. And is that how native ghosts they me, don't say boo, they say ho oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hi yeah. Hoo yeah, I'd be, yeah, yeah. I'd be uh, a lot less scary, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know, huh? <laughs> but uh I don't know, after they told me that, I like shortly after I was going to walk down my stairs and I like swear I saw a native person walking up my stairs and I freaked the hell out and I ran and I did like did not want to walk down those stairs for like my months. Well, it wasn't even because it was a ghost just because it was a native person. Yeah, just, no, there's just some Indian guy walking up my stairs. Jeez. <laughs> it scared the shit out of me. But other than that, I really haven't had like anything. I thought That's that I used to crazy. have them. I remember my mom telling me that we used to live in an apartment that um, burned down and was rebuilt and like people died in the fire. But I grew up and then I don't believe in ghosts anymore. So anything I've ever been told about that, I just don't believe. Have you ever felt like you like saw something though or anything? Well, I remember being a, being a kid and I, I had a, um, a closet door that wasn't, it was only connected from the top. So it would swing if you pushed on it. And for some reason I would wake up in the middle of the night, like crying. And like my mom would like come in through the door and look in the closet doors, like swinging. And she used to say that was from like ghosts <laughs> in my closet, like fucking with the door. Yeah, way to calm your fucking son down. Yeah, <laughs> oh, don't worry about it. It's just a fucking ghost. <laughs> and uh, it's just a poltergeist trying to kill you. Go back to sleep, honey. <laughs> Shut your lights off. Well, the, only, the, door. the only expl- the explanation I can think of that is from her opening the door that it's like pushing air in and making the closet door swing. And I just but like, was it like swinging beforehand or did it? Just I don't know. I mean, I'm laying there at night as a kid and all of a sudden I'm crying. Just I'm crying like a little bitch. Yeah, I was a crybaby when I was a kid. Big time. I would I would get really? a strike Makes in T ball and cry like a baby. Makes God, sense. you are such a pussy. Oh, I know. I was fucking. You're the worst kind of child. I was yeah, I would have. I would have beat kid. the shit out of you. If I have, if I ever have a kid like my, <laughs> like I was when I was a kid, oh, he's gonna get. He's gonna get the belt beat. to the ass. He's gonna get more <laughs> than a belt. Rammed. He's gonna okay. get what's, what a what's, knife. What's more than a. Do you think having like a ghost herd is like a paranormal experience? Like you have a big fucking shit and you wipe and nothing's there. I was like, what a ghost turd. Oh, well, if that's the case, <laughs> I've had tons of those. So. I, I thought I thought you meant like you tried and just nothing happened. Like you felt like a turd oh. come out, but there's nothing in the water. <laughs> <Yeah>. oh. <laughs> it's an egg of turd stealing ghost. <laughs> he just looks in the toilet and cries. <laughs> it's the turd stealing ghost. God. Oh, it's, it's like so some super bad. sus like Scooby-Doo episode. <laughs> <laughs> I would have got away with your turds if it went for those meddling kids. Some pedophile. Just a guy with a bag of shit. Yeah. Uh, that's funny. There was a there was a dude that got arrested. Like I don't know. If, I don't know where it was. But there, Where's there was this a, going? Well, there was a dude that got arrested because you reminded me of it. That he was hanging out in the bottom of a porta potty, uh, watching women just take dumps. Anyway, <laughs> <Was that> you. <laughs> 
they, the cops had to pull him out. And he was I can't imagine what he what he looked like when they pulled him out. <laughs> what what he, in life leads you to that moment? <laughs> <laughs> what he, path are you on? I mean, can you, can you imagine just waking up in the morning, just going, "Yeah, no, I'm gonna sit in a porta potty and watch. I'm women gonna shit. watch women shit on my face today." <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, I'm sorry. Idea. I didn't mean to change not the a, subject. Yeah, no, that's uh, <laughs> that's a, just what a the, roller coaster of a life. The, the toilet ghost reminded me of that. So <laughs> he was the toilet ghost. <laughs> yeah, you think he just that's like him after he died? And, yeah, pulled it out. Uh, what kind of fucking diseases would like you have oh, to get like dude. some pandemic starting from that? That's where COVID started. That guy right there. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Mm. Where that was, yeah. I look that up. <laughs> I feel like that's got to be somewhere in Missouri. Oh, I wouldn't be surprised. It's probably why I've heard of it. <laughs> that is definitely like a central state type type shit. <laughs> no pun intended. Oh, I get it. Because he was stealing women's turds. That's good. Doo doo. That's a good joke, soup. Doo doo. Dude, you never answered the question though. Do you have any uh, any paranormal experiences? I've, I've never had anything like that. No. Yeah, it's because the natives love him. So don't fuck with him. Because <laughs> uh, they're my ancestors. Like, we not fuck with you. Yep. And I gamble right. at the casinos regularly. Okay, <laughs> glad we got that sorted. <laughs> <laughs> he gamble money. Do not hunt. Wait, do? So you have... Dude, do you have native status? I don't know. I, it's like oh, so... What, it's faker. It's so little in me at this point that it's so washed down that I don't it's even know that I would ever even be. All right, <laughs> yeah, fair it's enough. The little thing in you, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it was little like penis. my. It was like my grandfather, great grandfather, who's like full on. So it's been really washed. Oh, now. what? That's not even that bad. In Canada, I think you can have like <clears throat> five generations pass, and you still oh, get like native. Dude, status. get that peyote, man. What then the I hunt. <laughs> then I definitely could. Yeah, come on me, over dude, to Canada. You, you want to get pay peyote? Taxes? You haven't gotten peyote, and you can take advantage of that, dude. Come on. What even is that? Some. It's like some it's like native rite of passage meme where they just like trip meme. balls. Yeah, it's a meme. <laughs> it's a meme. <laughs> hey guys, drink this yeah. meme and trip balls. <laughs> <laughs> is it so? So it's a beverage though. I've I, I've heard of it. I just have no idea what. No, it it's is like at all. it's is like, it like DMT yeah, kind it's like of bang energy. Kinda. Oh, really? It's bang <laughs> energy. <laughs> I know it's, it's just not Gatorade. <laughs> It's the Red Bull. Just it's just their experience the first time having caffeine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> first time having a Coke. It's like that. You, you ever had your first cigarette? You remember that? Never. No. Your first like whole cigarette. You never smoked one cigarette in your entire life? I got no, asthma. Not a mistake. <laughs> Dude. All right, Carl. That's such a Carl name <laughs> thing to say. <laughs> yeah, no, I've never touched one. Yeah, I used to I smoke was in high like school. Spinning first oh, time yeah, I, I remember that. Yeah, I remember my. Uh, I used to live across the way from my cousin. Like we were, uh, we lived in the condos, like right next to each other. <clears throat> and we used to steal my aunt's like half smoking cigarettes in her ashtray and just smoke them. But we wouldn't inhale them; we'd puff on them like a cigar. Because we were only like God, fucking. That is, we were like twelve, you know. That is biz- what the fuck? We thought we were like cool smoking cigarettes. Like yeah, fuck yeah, dude. And then I remember his older brother, my older cousin, came over, and he was like. Uh, 19 I think and he gave me we told him that that we smoked and he gave both of us a full Marlboro 100 red and man I took that thing to the head oh, <laughs> I thought man. you were gonna say like he gave us a stern talking to that we shouldn't smoke yeah no like <laughs> what, a, what a fucking role model <laughs> he just gave us a big ass fucking Marlboro oh, red oh, hey, kid, you're, you're smoking crack yeah here's more <laughs> Well, I just like I, I spent all this time smoking cigarettes that I didn't inhale and then I inhaled a whole Marlboro 100 red and I was just like Oh man, I, I don't like even know what puke. that is. I don't know what that means. Marlboro One Hundreds are like the longest like cigarette yeah. you can get from Marlboro. They're the big boys. Wait, I didn't even know they had like lengths. I thought they were just like I don't know. They got Marlboro shorts as well. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know nothing. Oh, about that that's what that's shit. about. What yeah, the different, poo? Different sizes. And then they have like oh, they I have thought, different I tobacco you were still blends too. Was from. Oh, yeah. that guy's from Colorado. <laughs> okay, so yeah. kind of right, kind of a central area. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I don't want to talk about cigarettes anymore. It's just fucking disgusting. <laughs> they are don't smoke, disgusting. kids. I hate cigarettes. Don't Thanks smoke so. unless you wanna. Unless it's a <laughs> dog turd, don't smoke. Yeah, unless you're don't soup smoke at the beach six. sending us Snapchats. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't smoke <laughs> unless. <laughs> 
poo poo is involved. All right, okay. on to the next. Um, I, I guess this. I guess this is kind of a decent segue to that. What kind of kid were you like in high school? I guess. I guess that's I'm kind a of a segue. Smoker. Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Perfect segue, dude. We're so good at this. We were born for this podcast. <laughs> yeah, we were born for that. <laughs> uh, McNasty, I feel like you were just a complete shit disturber. <clears throat> I was a complete shit what? Disturber. Oh, I was a terrible kid. I was a horrible kid. Just oh. all through and through terrible. What were your what were your grades like? Uh up until like the second grade, they were good. And then after that it was just Okay, downhill. so well yeah, but to have good grades in second grade is uh, exactly you just have to not be retarded. Exactly. <laughs> and then once the retardation started catching up to me, it was like, yeah, well, there's all the yeah, it, hit it, hard. <laughs> it hit you hard, huh? <laughs> once coloring was no longer a grade. Then yeah. <laughs> once, once, once recess wasn't a great yeah. lunch. <laughs> once we had to color inside the lines of the US map, McNasty was done. <laughs> it was failures from there. Yeah. Um no in high school, I just like I was really I had ADHD bad in high school. Like I was super fucking say. just like hyper and like couldn't pay attention and yeah. And then uh I mean you're kinda still like that. Yeah, yeah, kind of. I still have tendencies, but I, I'm, you know, I'm more controlling. And believe it or not, you know, I know as much as much jokes as we make about, oh, McNasty's such a fucking dummy and stuff. I'm actually not really that stupid. I just, I'm very lazy, which is my problem. Like that's pretty much the reason I failed high school. Is like I would go into high school, like any class, take a test and get like a fucking A, but my homework and everything else was just at F's. So that's why I just yeah. failed everything. Yeah, tests are not a measure of way. tests are not a measure of intelligence. So. Tests are just regurgitating shit. Well, that's the thing is, I've always been really good at retaining information. It's just actually doing the work and not being lazy is I I like doing. I was the polar opposite of McNasty. Yeah, I I was gonna say I felt like you were like licking the teacher's shoe. No, 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 no. I wasn't. I wasn't the ooh ooh me me student. But I like I always did my homework. I had. Straight A's and stuff. I you didn't remind actually... the teacher after the end of class that we have homework. <laughs> yeah, the oh homework no, I get the do. I get the shit kicked out of me for that. No, 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 no. <laughs> Nobody liked that kid. Um, no, but I um I was the kid that like if I was absent and the teacher like let me like let it slide, I'd be like, hey, I was absent. You know, you probably shouldn't let me slide with that. I was like too good. I was too I was too nice. Mm. But I, I had a I had a four point in college until I started doing Fucking YouTube, nerd. and then that went down the drain after youtube so i got uh started getting like c's and b's and shit i didn't even know YouTube you went was... to college <laughs> yeah c's and b's were to... a good grade for me no but like i um i went to college for uh audio stuff i, I didn't oh, really know I what i was gonna sense. do hmm. i didn't really know what i was gonna do with it but um yeah, I was good. I had I had I had straight A's until I started getting bigger on YouTube, and then I just like started skipping more class. Didn't How many years of uh, college did you do? Four. I was almost done. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, yeah, I've done. I've done six total. Damn. Oh. Like, were I you think. not doing it full time? <laughs> I've done nine months. Yeah, no, I was doing I was doing college full time. I just took two different programs, and I dropped out of one like uh. two weeks before the exam because I just didn't want to write the exam, even though like I was passing, and I. I very easily could have just stuck with it, but I was like, no, nope, it's summer. So I just gave up on that and fucking hated it. But like in high school, I, I like my whole grade 12 year, I skipped every single Friday and my mom just let that happen and didn't care. It's like, as long as your marks are above 70, I don't give a fuck what marks. you do. Marks. I hate it. Grades. Marks. I hate it so much. Grades. All right, you fucking Americans. <laughs> As long as your friend Mark is above an A plus, <laughs> yeah. As long, as long as your friend Mark's above seventy, you can skip. Fucking <laughs> 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 that Maybe ass. I, I think is not Mark? Mark used to be a currency in I think Germany, didn't it? Marks. Yeah, the German marks. I have one. German mark. You do? Huh. Yeah. Yeah. My friend Brody gave it to me, and he was like, "Yeah, my great grandpa like was in Nazi Germany," and I was like. I'm afraid to ask which side he was on. <laughs> so I just took the German mark and called it a day. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> did you have any, uh, did you guys have any uh, like weird phases or anything though in high school? Emo, bad, big time. Ooh, I was a freshman have, like, in high school when Welcome to the Black Parade came out by MCR. <laughs> <laughs> that, really, that really defined your high school experience, huh? <laughs> well, I'm just saying, like, I was in the fucking heart of like emo time. Like Fallout Boy, like, Panic at the Disco. It was just big like time. Everybody was, was emo. Everybody was, I was never. I was never like that. I've been like the same forever. 
Except I couldn't have long hair in high school because of baseball. Yeah, I've never I mean, seen pictures of you in high school and you'd have like a like a plaid shirt on and like cowboy boots and <laughs> Oh god, <laughs> like that's jeans. hot. You had a cowboy oh, hat I, on too. I, I no <laughs> cut jeans and I, a cowboy hat. I rarely <laughs> ever wore plaid shirts unless I had to. I uh, wore plaid shirts. <clears throat> I would wear band t-shirts and the teachers would like make fun of me. <laughs> I, know, I, I had, I wore like a Megadeth shirt one day and one teacher was like, Megadeth? Like what, what is that shirt? Like, it's just, <laughs> that just looks evil. <laughs> and I was just like, okay, you look fucking evil. Oh, you like, yeah, 66, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I I'd start d- praying for you, <laughs> holding the Bible to your forehead, see if it leaves a burn mark. <laughs> no, I, mean, I, I, I pretty I much always been fa- the same. <laughs> uh, I had a similar phase as McNasty in high school, but like it was weird because I I also was like a hockey nerd, I guess hockey douche. So I was like playing. Is that like a big thing hockey. in Canada? Like you you have hockey in high school? Um, I didn't play high school hockey because the team was shit. High um, schools just have like, ice rinks. Yeah, all right, well, we That's so uh, weird to me. We like we had a class. Um, there was a first period class where it was just hockey, and you just got <laughs> to play that for first period. Wait, so uh, I was making a joke. That's a real thing. You have ice rinks in your schools? Not in our school. It was like a five minute walk. Oh, just behind our school. Oh, okay. <laughs> there's big Christ. ice rinks, and yeah, we had that first period if we wanted to. I didn't take it though because I was just like it's kind of whack. Um, you have yeah, a period I know, for I was like, like where you make. You cook ham and call it Canadian bacon? Dude, I couldn't think of anything worse than waking up at 6 a.m., going to school and having to play ice hockey. <laughs> no, dude, it like, was great. Just, like, just sign me up for the military at that point. Like, <laughs> no, I, it, it, it was pretty great. Like, I went there sometimes. Like and just like cancer. I, I would skip my class sometimes and go, and it was pretty fun. Because, like, you could sit there and be like, oh, I could be sitting in a desk learning fucking French or some stupid shit, but instead I can, like, Dick around with my friends and shoot pucks at each other or something fucking stupid. I just hate ice it, skating. I hate yeah, it. Yeah, okay, that's fair. Yeah, I'm pretty trash. So what? It. What if? What if I said, "Hey, soup, first period, you go mudden." <laughs> well, mudding is a sport. That. that was just that was just like extracurricular, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you did after school. That's, that's like, like the equivalent the of us. Ha- that's yeah. how you apply for college around here. <laughs> <laughs> go mudden. <laughs> no, but we like our. I remember like we had football and like. Like uh, baseball, like those were, those were part of our like. Uh, our did you guys have them as like a class though? Yeah, yeah no, like I PE, never did. it would just kind of rotate throughout the year. You'd play like oh, a certain yeah, we sport had for like each PE quarter well. or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we had that as well. But you could like that. You, hockey wasn't included in regular PE. You had to like specific. There wasn't just, no, there wasn't a course. period for like football. The only yeah. cool thing with baseball is sometimes would be like they'd come over the intercom <laughs> and they'd be like, "Can the baseball team please report like oh, to leave for awesome. the game." And then you stand up and leave the class and felt walk like out a like a badass. fucking badass. Like, yeah, I'm leaving early. To play just baseball. fucking knocking every kid yeah, out with a bat right, as you walk bitch. by. Yeah, just slap the teacher's, the ass. teacher's <laughs> teeth in. <laughs> slap her ass. I'm out of here, baby. <laughs> slap get her a ass. Home run on her <laughs> just old woman. Just take your arm and just swipe everything off her desk. <laughs> Start fucking her right there on the desk. <laughs> Why did they turn into a fucking Just not on the fucking smart board. Imagine that announcement coming over the PA. It's like, baseball players, please fuck your teacher and get ready for the game. Your please release your in. nut and get ready for the game tonight, boys. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, what, uh, what, what did you play in baseball? Because I played baseball for... My whole like, uh, my position in school time, yeah. As well, I played first base and third base. So oh, okay, the, fun. The I played colonists. shortstop and I fucking hated shortstop, but that they just sense, kept putting you... me there. Oh, I played I, outfield I played... because I love catching butterflies. <laughs> I was really good at that. Uh, Comes full circle to that ADHD thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah I, did I they did, also uh, make you wear a helmet deep. in the outfield, McNasty. Did you have to wear a helmet? Yeah, yeah were you the only one with a helmet on? <laughs> Yeah, I did. I did uh, second base and shortstop. Hell yeah! Dude. Uh, that's not bad. Usually they just made like because I was a super skinny kid who was pretty quick. They kind of just made whoever yep. was like the smallest, skinniest kid go do shortstop because they had to run around like an idiot. Yep. Yeah, I was way too short to do like on the first corners. base. Yep, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I did not like baseball though. I played it for like three years. 
I just because like all my friends played it <clears throat> and like I thought it'd be fun and I really like sunflower seeds so like it all matched up but <laughs> yeah you were in it for the sunflower seeds I liked when we were batting because then I could just sit in the little dugout eat sunflower seeds and hang out with my friends and then I'd have to go up to bat and I'd like my dad would get pissed if I'd intentionally like swing out or something so I always like would try to hit and I always was pissed when I'd make it on base because I'd have to sit there while my friends had fun in the dugout <laughs> and I'm just fucking sitting there with a pocket full of sunflower seeds all angry on second base so I, it wasn't for me but, made me play I mean, catcher a few times I hated that oh dude catcher. I love playing catcher I oh did you that did a little bit oh really no, dude, I hated it I played you had catcher to wear this, once like... and it broke my thumb oh <laughs> You what caught you the ball wrong, it? man. <laughs> yeah, I did. I wasn't expecting it. He threw a fucking knuckleball at me. And I was like, what the hell's happening? It was like vibrating in the air. Didn't know where to go. So I tried to go to where it was, and then it wasn't there, and then it jammed the end of my thumb. And I wanted to fucking punch the pitcher in the head. And I'm still friends with the pitcher. You can still punch him in the head, then. <laughs> I could. I could do that right now, but I'm not going to do that because coronavirus. Remember five yeah. years ago? Just beat the fuck out of him. Actually, I saw him two days ago, and he brought it up. About how he broke my thumb with the pitch. And he's Hot. also, we played on separate teams once. And I pitched to him. And he only ever got one home run in his entire baseball career. His and it was on me. He <laughs> <laughs> just whip a fastball at his fucking teeth for <laughs> breaking my thumb. <laughs> um. <sighs> All right. Next oh. topic. Oh, right. Next topic. What's we, the next topic? On we the are professional podcast pizza? people, and we switch topics oh, by screaming oh, "next topic." Oh, ah! Oh, <laughs> please, please get rid of all of that. What is that? You see a spider on your desk? <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to make noise. What's the next thing we are going to talk about on this podcast, known as the Goons Podcast? Today. Today. What's today? Today. Okay. <laughs> today is Friday, May 29th, As we're saying this sentence right now. 6.52 okay. p.m. Eastern Standard Do you Standard guys... <laughs> and do you guys believe in aliens? This is this was topical when I suggested it because there's that thing of, like, the Air Force releasing oh, a, yeah, I remember that. a UFO. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I Tell mean, me it's... what the fuck else is out there fucking my cows at night because I ain't doing it. <laughs> I have a <laughs> feeling a it's lie. you. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's you. <laughs> <laughs> um, anybody right. want to Anybody want to give their input? <laughs> I do. No? I fully believe in them. I believed okay. in them ever since I was a kid. Yeah, it's just what, like there's no reason to not in believe in them. What makes well, me believe in them? Well, the fact that the universe is so fucking massive and we you, only you see like realize, 1% like, of it. You do realize how many things have to work for there to be life, right? Oh, I know. Like, I, I got into this on stream yesterday because some idiots in my chat, but like, for anything to go right, you have to have a sun collapsing on itself. And that has to f- be hot enough where it fuses three helium nucle- nuclei. But what if their life is different? Carbon. What if their no, life is but different? No, no, no. But that's the thing is you need <laughs> carbon because, because if you don't have carbon, then it's just a primordial compounds, which no matter how you fuse them, they can't turn into living creatures. You need carbon. That was a four-syllable order- word and I'm lost. <laughs> you need carbon and that needs to go into a certain place called the Goldilocks zone around a sun that is hot enough. And it needs to stay in that Goldilocks zone, and it will have an ellipse, which is how the percentage of like how it goes around that sun. That needs to be like between zero and five percent, because if it goes past that, the winters will be too cold, blah, and the summers blah, blah, will be too hot. I've lived, I've lived, I've lived off, I've lived off bill. beer for the last twenty years, so tell me how it <laughs> be a goddamn primordial motherfucker out there somewhere. <laughs> there isn't. They would be like gases, unless you consider like gases and rocks living species. Well, I tell you what, I've had some farts. God damn, it could be a person. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. Can you, can you confirm that? <laughs> What's? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm in a good right, that is, today. That is, that is life according to soup. <laughs> Fart people. <laughs> it could, could be a possibility. Be. There could be fart people out there. I watch Rick and Morty. I don't know. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I that's just a scientific basis. I've watched I, Rick and Morty. <laughs> Sorry, I imagine, carry on, dude. I just imagine Soup being lonely as hell, having no friends, and he just makes friends with a little farts. A new farts. <laughs> he comes out, he's like, fart. Oh, hi, new friend. Who's there? You know. Hi, what's up, buddy? <laughs> Who's Wafted there? up in your nose. <laughs> you smell delicious. Oh, God, so that's real good. You want to stay around for a little while, buddy? <laughs> that is Put you in a nasty. jar and keep you. Okay. 
That's <laughs> that is fucking disgusting. Do you think anybody no, has, I- <laughs> has, has jerked off to our on our YouTube's? There's got to be at least Wait, one what? person out there. I've had people jerk off to my videos. Oh, there's, some, there's somebody the who has come all over your YouTube's. And oh yeah, I, I've there's a picture of it on YouTube's. the internet somewhere. It's a, all right, well, some, not, somebody do it. <laughs> I mean, it's got to happen now. All right, don't no. send it to me. I don't want to see. That's fucking gross. No, I don't want to see it. Please don't. God, it's going to happen. Send them all you've, to me. You've spoken send them into all to existence. Me. Please, God, cut that out you've of the podcast. Spoke, you've spoke a cum filled do you twos into existence. All right, well, look, I know what's happened because I've come on my own. There you go. Nobody else has to do it. It's, they're going to do it. It's going to happen. <laughs> send me a picture. I mean, send me a picture. You've you've said wanna, it. You want to talk about why you came on your own? Nah. You narcissistic piece of shit. You, I'm just so you good want, at guitar, man. Come you on. Want, you, want to, you guys want to go back to aliens instead of come yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah. I think that there's definitely life out there, but maybe not intelligent. Like, there could be some sort of freaking amoeba growing on But isn't that what the yeah. fucking UFO... The goddamn monkey planet. Isn't that but, what the UFO kind of confirmed? Is that there's <clears throat> intelligent life? Well, no, no, no. UFO... It's just UFO un- could be anything. It could, yeah, it could be, it could be a Russian the, the, spy plane. It could be a North Korean spy plane. They just, true, it's, yeah. UFO just means that it's something that they uh, don't know, they don't know what it is yet. It's just right. something flying. Yeah. Like it yeah. could be intelligent life. But the thing is, why would intel like what would intelligent life have like ga- gain from coming here and not making contact? Is like I honestly plus, like surveillance. Uh, I guess Edward I don't Snowden. Know. Edward Snowden, when he did release pretty much everything about the government, he also did look for aliens. Um, cause he was going to, he was planning on leaking that too, but he couldn't find any existence of aliens in the U S uh, you know, database. that dude quit blink 182 to look for fucking UFOs. That guy. Really? Yeah. The, the, that is a that, mistake of a career that path. Footage, <laughs> that footage was, I'm pretty sure like the guy from blink 182 helped like find that footage or something. Or it was probably the UFO. girl at the rock show that convinced him to. That's stupid. That's a UFOs. bad joke. <laughs> I didn't You're get, bad. He had his I first date with her. Tom DeLonge, <laughs> I think. I don't know. Tom what DeLonge. He, DeLonge. DeLonge. Yeah. What was he? Tom, what Tom What did he do in Blink One Eighty Two? Was he like the? I think he was a singer. Guitar player, singer. Singer. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. oh, okay. Yeah. He was a singer. What the fuck? Man, imagine quitting your successful career as a musician to go, go hunt chase aliens. No, he looks like he was a guitar player. Sky. Oh, was he? He was a guitar player. Oh, he might have been. He might have been both. I don't know how that works. That, that know, Ryan guy that you prank call, that, that guy's a huge fan of Blink-182. Well, then he would know. Yeah. No, he might have been again, the singer and guitar player. <clears throat> <laughs> call him again and ask him on the podcast. Prank call him. <laughs> All I know is that guy quit Blink-182 to look for UFOs. Yeah, I know. So. That, that is ridiculous. a mistake. That's crazy, dude. I'm quitting YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> yeah, quitting YouTube to go look for metal flying through the sky. <laughs> I'm going to go find a planet full of monkeys. All right. Mm. I mean, we're already on Earth. So. Mm. Yeah, we're all a bunch of monkeys. I want to change the subject before a joke is made. <laughs> yep. Okay. Um, <laughs> what's the biggest thing that coronavirus and lockdown has affected you? What? That you, you that? didn't fr- Did you that? didn't word. Hey, shut I just up, read man. that straight off. Mc- yeah. I tried to say that sentence. <laughs> I, I read I, it straight I, as as McNasty worded it. That wasn't me. Yeah, was I, was like, That's I always like to read his yeah. sentences and then turn them into my own sentence because I don't trust his grammar. Um, <laughs> you know? And then his next topic is you up for Warzone. You guys want to talk about that? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he mistakenly put that in the wrong chat. But, uh, we were actually we, we were playing mistake. Warzone the other day and we couldn't find a fourth. So it's like so I wonder, he said, if, Let's I wonder ask if podcast, podcast talking guys. points wants to <laughs> play Warzone. <laughs> and then he asked in here. Yeah. I'm mean, just so yeah. quirky and cute. Yeah, that's a very no, you're, epic joke. you're ugly and gross. Uh, so what? <laughs> what's, how has how has coronavirus affected y'all? If if at all, really? Not uh, at all. I mean, well, <laughs> for you it's a little different because you live in the middle of the fucking forest. Like you're yeah, fine. True. You can kind of you can kind of still do whatever you want. Honestly, he's the one that that socializes more than any of us. Chicken nugget. <laughs> Even though he lives in the middle of the fucking forest. Yeah, think yeah. about that. Think about that. He hangs out with the other I, forest the dwellers. Irony. Yeah, the irony in that one. That's a big word for you, Soup. <clears throat> Think about the ironic iron in cereal. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's just kind of healthy. Think about the lack of iron in anemic people's blood. <laughs> Think about the lack of iron in your diet today. <laughs> Sponsored by Cheerios. <laughs> eat a pole. Just eat a fucking pole. Find the telephone <laughs> pole. Eat, 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 eat a lead post. <laughs> eat metal. There's right, no law but, uh, stopping you from chewing on a stop sign. I'm just saying that. 
It probably is. I mean, if no, it just comes up on you, just well, like no, no, full up biting a stop sign, I think they no, stop because you. that would be what is the there is a law against like defacing stop signs. So I feel like yeah, that is would, putting your mouth on it, defacing it. If you're eating it, yeah, you're taking chunks out of a fucking stop sign. Oh yeah, at well, the very uh, least, you look like a that retard. <laughs> I think if a cop saw you taking bites out of a stop sign and eating it. That they would probably try to recruit you to the police force. Probably, if you have a powerful yeah, like enough bite, you'd be like to, an X Man. Yeah, you'd be the new Jaws of life that they used to like get people out of wrecked cars. <laughs> I was gonna say you'd be like their canine. They put your you'd ass on a call. leash and have you bite people. Like, you'd be on call to just chew people out of wrecks. <laughs> hey, we need you to come uh, devour this car real quick. <laughs> Eat the car. <laughs> With the man still inside, just eat it. <laughs> just get rid of the evidence. <laughs> just devour a crime scene. Why are we talking about this? I don't know. Coronavirus don't know. was we what we were going to yeah. talk about. Yeah, yeah, we didn't even talk about it. And, um, but uh, I mean, I feel like it's affected everybody in a similar way where it's just like, you can't go out and hang out with friends, so not socializing fucking sucks. I mean, we're yeah. super lucky because we can all work. Yeah. Like, yep. our job lends itself pretty well to this. Mm-hmm. You know, that shitty way, situation. Anything it got better after the coronavirus happened. Yeah, because more people are at home watching videos. Yeah, yeah. but views like, gone up a little bit. Yeah, I don't know though. Everything else about it is fucking garbage. I got sushi from my favorite sushi place for the first time in like three months today. Ooh, I would not trust open. sushi right now. And what? <laughs> what? what, what? <laughs> is sushi covered in coronavirus? What the fuck does that mean? Dumbass? That's about that. right to me. I didn't say that. You said that. I mean, I had Chinese food like a week Ooh. ago, too. Ooh, that, that I, 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 I'm not hugging you for the next two weeks. Bruh. You need to self-quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> Hug my little bones. <laughs> you guys are fucking idiots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you guys are like, yeah, I'll go to fucking Wendy's and get something through a drive oh, through. Yeah, That's brother, safe. I can't fucking pass on Baconator. Shit. <laughs> Ain't no bones. COVID in bacon. French fry. I want french fry with some Heinz ketchup. Mm, oh, okay, don't plug your sponsor. No, don't plug no, your no, no. Oh, oh, Heinz ketchup, drink it, baby. Drink it till you drown. Hunts, Hunts is better. <laughs> Sweeter. Is no, that the script? <laughs> drink it till you drown. <laughs> drink it till you drown. <laughs> that's, our, that's our new marketing campaign. <laughs> uh, it's got a nice ring to it. <laughs> it's memorable. I wouldn't forget about Heinz telling me to yourself in it. Yeah, Heinz telling me to essentially kill myself. I wouldn't forget that. <laughs> Give yourself some lead shoes and go sit in some Heinz. Hashtag that. <laughs> anyway, Neil's Chicago necklace into a pile of ketchup. The only, only thing like Delaware foot into a pile of egg. Okay, Anyways, carry on, Nick Nasty. Um, <laughs> the uh, <laughs> the only way coronavirus has affected me is so basically I was already just a fucking hermit crab. I just stayed inside all the time. But yeah. the way that this affected me is because I know I can't go out and do shit. It's making me want to go out and do shit. Like I want to take a vacation yep. so bad. Like yeah, I want to go somewhere I, so bad yeah, now. And normally, same. like if this, like if this never happened, I'd be sitting here right now and be like, oh, I'm happy sitting fucking on my desk doing nothing. But now yep. I want to like go do shit. Where yeah, if this hadn't happened, uh, we would have probably met up. Oh yeah, already. definitely. Probably at, we probably would have been at McNasty's dumb fucking stupid yeah. face house. <laughs> mm-hmm. We were planning. I on feel it, like. Dumb I feel like it's similar. Face house. I feel like it's similar to like when you were a kid. Did you ever like have a toy and you didn't really care about it until you saw somebody else play with that toy and mm-hmm. you were like, "Fuck, I want that." Yeah. It's like the same vibe where it's like I, I I never really wanted to like, you know, go out much. Now I can't, and I'm like, "Fuck, I want to go out." <laughs> yeah, that's true. I don't know. You I want mean, it's, what it's, you it's can't shit. have. It's, it's human shit nature. for everybody, and yeah. like we're pretty lucky throughout this. So, I mean. I don't think we've gotten hit nearly as bad as like a lot of other people, especially because like where I live, it's not even that bad. Like there's, I yeah. think there's only like a thousand cases out of a city of like three hundred fifty thousand. Yeah, mine's so. not really that bad either. They're just they're taking it really seriously. Like every store is like good. You can't yeah. even. Yeah, yeah. should no, be I Detroit's into, fucking wild. Dude, I went into a guitar <sighs> center the other day, and they were really? like, "You can't come in without a mask." And I was like, "Are you serious?" And they they like checked my temperature before I went in, and I had to get a mask <laughs> and put on. It's like, Jesus, hey, Guitar man. Center, are you selling fucking nukes in here or something? Dude? Like, <laughs> I just need some strings, dog. <laughs> I mean, they're not. none of those are even open around me. Like, nothing like what, that is armed open guards me, so. I just got an email from Guitar Center today that said that they're reopened. But they were bef- really? what they were doing before is you can, you can call or you can order online and go to the store and they'll like go in the store, get it for you and bring it out to you. Yeah, yeah that's what I had to do with my that. telly. And like, 
when I returned Tele. one of my tellies, I oh, your they were like, I thought you were talking about your telephone. Oh, yeah, talking about a television or something. No, 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 no. Um, <laughs> like a loony we, have like, yeah. we have like a Canadian version of Guitar Center called Long McQuaid. And I was like, <laughs> what a I would name. never shop yet, yeah, ever. It's, I would not step foot inside that store. What a dog it, is shit equal, name. it is equally as bad I would as not Guitar spend Center. So, like one of the brothers from 21 Jump Street. <laughs> Long, Long McQuaid. McQuaid. <laughs> it's like their porn name. <laughs> Long McQuaid. <laughs> All right, but uh, no, I called him and I was like, "Hey, I'm trying to like return this one guitar. What should I do with it?" And then he's like, "Oh, there's an alleyway behind. Just leave it there and call us when it's there." It's like, "Oh, that's that's fucking safe. Just like leave this thousand dollar. Gu- yeah, leave this thousand dollar guitar like in a puddle next to the back door. <laughs> Get my money back. Like, what the fuck? It's so bizarre." Just like yeah. not being able to go into a store and just like return something like just small shit like that is so weird. And I'm just like, even after three months and not used to dumb shit like that. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. weird. Life's weird. I think like the biggest thing for me is like, uh, can't go to the gym anymore. Oh, can't hang dude. out with people and stuff like that. So I've been I trying to do like, gym. like these shitty at home workouts with dumbbells. Really not, nope. not going I've anywhere. Been, I've just been, I've just been eating Doritos and crying, bro. Uh, I've actually gym. like kind of had the uh, the opposite. A lot of people are like binging. I've kind of like lost weight. I just like because I I can't eat. I, I'm not eating out as much and stuff. So I'm just kind of like I found myself eating a lot cleaner now, just cooking a lot more food and stuff. So, but uh, you nerd. Well, congrats, you yeah. fucking <laughs> Uh Do went from being 110 pounds to 105. Good for him. <laughs> I've no, actually but just like, been practicing guitar, and now I can just play without even touching the strings. And I've lost 20 pounds. <laughs> By the way, I bought just found a million dollars well. in the woods the other day when I was walking around. <laughs> uh, no, well, it's true. Like, there's two kinds of people in this. Like, I've seen it all over, like, social media. There's people who are, like, trying to get ripped, and there's people who are like, fuck it, I'm just going to eat everything, you know? People yeah, are, like, I'm more really uh, polarized man. with that. <laughs> so I miss going to the gym six days a week. Fuck this. <laughs> yeah, for real, though. I've been playing Pokemon Go. That's something. That's still a thing? No. <laughs> <laughs> the first nice. day I, I booted that bad boy back up on my phone, I took just a gym. Been, and then nothing has happened at that gym. Pretending to play it. Yeah, no, I just like, oh, look, a, a Pokemon that's, you know, it's a good one for all the people I can't battle. It's more of a mental thing because, like, I've gone for a walk that's like 13K steps. I've gone for a walk almost every night for the last, like, six months so i feel like i've listened to every piece of music on earth so i've ran out of music to listen to so now i'm just ready to do something else so i thought ah pokemon go i'll try that out and it's you should listen to like uh listen to podcasts when you're walking like the goons yeah i missed that that thing that happened two hours ago oh, my God. <laughs> what i wouldn't give to do that right now instead well i'm just saying like you just like there's tons of other podcasts you can listen to it's really yeah, relaxing. Keeps your mind like I, occupied. I don't know. Something about like I like some podcasts, but I don't know. I have to be in like a very <laughs> specific mood for them. Otherwise, I'm just kind of like listening to somebody talk, and I get annoyed because I'm like they're talking over my brain, and I'm mad. I want to punch <laughs> this person for talking. Yeah, you know? I feel that. I like watching. Uh, <clears throat> I like watching like to fall asleep, like just gameplay videos where it's just people talking, and it's like uncut gameplay. Like really? for some reason that is like the easiest thing to fall asleep to. Yeah. Like I've been oh, yeah, watching yeah. uh Alpha Rad Plus, if any of you guys know who Alpha Rad is, like a no, Nintendo. Yeah, yeah. He does like Nintendo stuff or whatever. Yeah. But I've seen his, his second Smash channel. Stuff. Yeah, his second channel, he just does like uncut videos and they're just like the greatest thing in the world to just watch to chill. I don't know why yeah. they are. I feel like I watching our uncut just... videos would just be like the opposite of what you'd yeah, want to listen to when you're random sleeping. screaming out yeah. of nowhere and loud noises. Yeah. Well, I uploaded that one uncut video and it did amazing. Three hundred thousand views oh, yeah. and seventeen k likes. I had to go over that again today and I was pissed off by it again. Eighteen k now actually. Ah, That's it. I'm done editing. Fifteen minutes it. of unedited gameplay. <laughs> no more gameplay, editing. And people God. loved it and asked Did for more. <laughs> people just like eating dog shit, huh? I'm gonna do another one eventually. When I like, it's hard to get a game though. Right. That's yeah, like not a, a game that I enough. yeah, where I can't just leave it uncut. <laughs> it's so yeah, weird it's because rare. Like, 
I, even with like the types of videos we upload, I see people commenting, being like, "I love throwing these on before bed." I'm like, "What the fuck is it's wrong?" Like, with you like, must be waking up to like, ah, like yeah. so much. Like, yeah. I feel like I feel like it'd be easier to fall asleep <laughs> watching like ISIS beheading videos than it would be to ours. Like, be yeah, like, watch a war documentary. You can fall asleep to that better. <laughs> like, watch, watch like Iraq flashback GoPro videos. footage. It's like Guantanamo Bay torture <laughs> scenes and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Literally anything would be better than watching our videos to help you fall asleep. It's just fucking screeching. Hey, if people do it, then uh, what kind of dreams are you having? Yeah. Like, you know what? If you're going to do it, turn off ad block and just let like nine of my videos run while you're at it. <laughs> Can I say don't, that? Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> are we nah, allowed to say that? Ad block, can you, can you use ad block. Who gives a What? Fuck? Shut up. Use ad block. I don't, I don't think he's who likes ad block, so I'm sure you can say that. Yeah, fuck Adblock. Susan Wahonky's on my side. <laughs> Maybe not after I call her that. <laughs> it's so weird to me that people can fall asleep with like a, a TV on or like somebody yeah, talking. I can't do that. Oh, like, dude, I have to. If I sleep with, like, if I hear somebody talking on the TV while I'm sleeping, all all I can pay attention to is them talking, and it just completely keeps me from falling asleep. Yeah, same. I'm kind of the same way. I just need like, like I can do it white noise from a fan. That's pretty much it. Yeah, I always have a fan on, but like I've been sleeping with earplugs in. Why? That has been. I cannot do that. Earplugs. Yeah, I would hear like yeah. my own like ear sound. Like, yeah, you it, can hear like everything. Like, I feel like if you have does. tinnitus, though, that would make it so bad. You have yeah. like ringing in your ears or whatever. I have a little bit oh, of tinnitus. I know, I don't, yeah. Oh, I don't have any. Because if so you I plug just, up like, your ears, that's like that's why <clears> I sleep with a fan because like I have. Loud ringing because, you know, fucking always playing guitar loud and shit, whatever. Yeah. So I have ringing in my ears. So I sleep with a fan so that it, like, doesn't drive me nuts. And I feel like if I plugged up my ears, I would want to kill myself. Oh, yeah. You're yeah, like, like when you try and sleep in, like, a like a TV. silent room, like, completely, all I hear is just, mm -hmm. like, like, this noise yep. the entire time. Really? Yeah. Tonight's is fucked, dude. You're, like, a hundred years old. If there's just, like, what you are ancient. do has tinnitus? I'll probably That's have tinnitus as well. It, it comes from listening music. to just loud shit for a long time. It's, I was in a it's literally for like two years, and I don't think I have tinnitus. Well, maybe you just I have like listen Thanos to somebody ears smash. Then. Yeah, I guess I got Thanos ears. <laughs> I also sit next to a like a really loud amp for eight hours at a time and play guitar for eight hours for people on Omegle. So that's probably why. <clears throat> probably I used to fall asleep. I used to fall asleep to the Ozzy Osbourne album like. For like three years straight. That's probably what caused it. God, that is some volume. fucking that is some volume, serial yeah. killer that. shit. Your whole room is vibrating. You just <laughs> that is like that's like school shooter energy type. <laughs> like what the fuck? <laughs> no way off the rails. I mean, that's just <laughs> <laughs> that is most bizarre album. <laughs> just like, knocked out fuck? and Randy Rhodes shredding a fucking solo. We're <laughs> 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 Dude, that's a sick solo in that song, on, by the way. Sick two uh, that's solos, probably, yeah. That's yeah. probably... Well, what's like the main solo? The first one? <laughs> yeah, probably yeah. so. I haven't heard that song in a while, but I love that solo. <laughs> I should cover that. I think I will. Thank you. So <laughs> do, it right right now. That, do it right now. Glad yeah, we got that sorted. <laughs> I remember I used to always want uh, one of Randy Rhodes' guitars, but they're so like weirdly shaped. You would not be able to like sit on a guitar stand very that's, well. Like, yeah, that's like I do not understand that about like a lot of old like metal bands. It's like the guitar looks cool, but how the fuck do you actually play that? Like, What's isn't his like up? a weird? Isn't his like a weird flying V? It's like a V, and then one of the Vs like, is like short. Yeah, stubby. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. God. Yeah, I don't. I don't know how people play fucking weird ass guitars. Well, Vs. If you play a V, like you kind of really only can play it in classical position. Or standing. That's like you about it. Or standing, yeah. Choices. But you, like if you're sitting, you kind of just tuck the V like into your thigh and then just kind of rule it, rule it, it, it. And then, so but if, if you're standing, then you can play whichever way you want. Yeah, I don't know. I always thought V guitars look cooler when you're like standing up holding it because it's just like. They look dope. It's, just, I just, it's like bigger, I, you know? It covers up more of your. It's just you know more what I don't get is, Unless you're like I small. I don't get how people play with their straps on like the loosest setting. And, like, oh, the guitars bro. hanging oh, down no. by their ankles. Have you ever seen, like, 2009, like, Attack Attack Crab Core mm -hmm. shit? God, hold on. Oh, like, fuck. how, how hard is that on your wrist, man? I feel like you... I don't know bro. how people do that, but I, I, I've, I've been told by, like, all my friends that I keep my guitar way too low. You're supposed to have it, like, around where your belly button is, to my knowledge. If I feel like if I played standing up, I'd look like such a nerd because I'd have it up on my nipples. 
Oh you know? yeah, I like having my guitar like how up I'm, high with me too. That's how I'm used to playing sitting down. It's like but you right don't there. look cool. I don't care. <laughs> don't matter, dog. It's all about looking cool. <laughs> <laughs> look at that shit that I just. I have never looked cool. <laughs> Yeah. yeah yeah like people literally yeah. having their guitar on their fucking ankles or like past I feel like their that's kind of just done for like a video though ah, yeah dude, probably I, so I think it'd be impossible well, yeah. to play like that well, if you were no but like with the little shitty bands like that used to play like crab core stuff uh, all they dumb, played is ones and zeros dumb, yeah it's yeah. just chugging ones and zeros you could play it fucking you can play over anywhere. the top of the guitar yeah it doesn't matter yeah, yeah you could fucking do anything and it wouldn't matter <laughs> Just mute uh, all yeah, the other strings know. for the low string. Just hit it. <laughs> I just can't play guitar standing up at all. Like yeah, I, can I, only, bass, I only can if it's just like up high, where I can like see because I'm, I'm blind. I'm just inept. But you guys all have been playing a lot longer than yeah. I have, so I guess that. I've kind of recently got to the point where I'm almost comfortable enough with the fretboard to kind of play without looking, as long as I know like nice. where my starting point is. But yeah, that's, yeah, that's really not an easy that. thing to do. Like, if I just pick up a guitar that's and close my eyes, like, I don't know where the fuck to go. I just, I have to know where my starting point is, and then I can kind of go from there. And, uh, yeah. Music and stuff. <laughs> oh, God. Music, Sorry, I was dying for, like, five seconds. Or... I think we only really have one topic oh, Jesus left. Jesus Christ. What's the um, worst, the worst sickness you've ever had? Ooh. <clears throat> oh. Yeah. Uh, I, I guess this, I don't know if this counts as a sickness, but I had... When I was like in grade nine, I had an allergic reaction and I was out of school for like two months. Um, and I was in the hospital for a bit too. Um, cause we didn't know what it was and it just kept flaring back up and we couldn't figure it out. And they didn't want to like send me somewhere far away in case I did have an allergic reaction and just like fucking died. Um, but, uh, yeah, that sucked ass. But the day I got back from like being gone for like two months, I talked to my French teacher and I was like, Hey, what's my grade? And he's like, Oh, I'm just going to mark you on what you did have. Uh, so whatever you have in like an 80%. And I was like, okay, cool. And then I go to my next class and the vice principal taught this class. And I was like, what's my grade? She's like, Oh, you have a 13% right now. And there's no way you'll pass this class. <laughs> oh my God. I was like, what? I've been like, She's fuck like, you stupid bitch. Yeah. She was like, you yeah. haven't come and collected like any of your homework. I was like, I, I what I was in the hospital for a bit and then I was on my couch fucking dying. It's like, oh, that's not my fault. <laughs> so Damn, my mom had to like age. call. Yeah, my mom called and like freaked out, and eventually I got like a fifty-two in that class and just called it a day. <laughs> <Oof>. <laughs> yeah, that was fucking AIDS. That was probably the worst sickness I've had though. Just like I don't even know if that's a sickness. Just like, did you ever figure out what the allergy was coming from? No, we think it was just like a weird hormonal thing. Like when I, it was right around when I was hitting puberty, so they just think it was like this very <laughs> bizarre. You're just allergic to your own Hormonal pubes. Reaction. Allergic to sperm. <laughs> <laughs> God, that'd be horrible. Just like one dribble of nut on yourself, and you Could just you imagine like busting out. on a chick that's allergic to sperm. You just like burn her skin. <laughs> it's like acid. Or acid, yeah. <laughs> I was thinking like a peanut allergy, where they just like choke to death <laughs> off of a single <laughs> flake of nut. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh. <laughs> what about you guys? I uh, I had a really bad flu once. Um, I had swine flu, but it actually was nothing compared to this. Wait, uh, actually? Yeah, yeah, I had swine flu, but the this one flu I had made swine flu look like just like a common cold. I had this one flu one year uh, over like Christmas time when everybody be getting the flu. It was one of those kinds where you puke every fifteen minutes for a whole day. Oh, I love those, dude. Those are the best. Um, so I did that, and uh, I got really dehydrated and whatever. And that night. Um, after puking every 15 minutes for about 12 straight hours, I, uh, I also had the, uh, the massive shits with this one. Horrible diarrhea. <laughs> and, uh, what did I you even, I, what could have even came out at that point? Uh, liquid. Uh, oh. so, <laughs> so oh. yeah, I was, I was just chilling in my bed at night and, um, and, uh, I was like, okay, I really, I really need to fart, but I'm too weak to like, <laughs> oh, no. I'm, oh, I'm, no. I'm way too weak to like get up. I was so drained. I had had maybe like a sip of like a seven up or something like, and that was about all I had had in my system. And so, uh, I trusted the fart and I pushed and I regretted it instantly because I, sh I shat through my underwear, through my pants, <laughs> through my God. blanket, through my sheet, through my blanket onto my mattress. <laughs> And I made oh this, it was, God. it was a forceful shat, man. And I had this big old shat stain on my mattress. And so I was like, all right, well, I probably should do something about this. So what, all I did was I got up and I got a towel and I laid it over the stain and I went back to bed. I went back I to, bed. to clean it up. <laughs> oh my God. It was you so had bad. Like, 
a puke bucket and the shit bucket next to you. I feel yeah. like I only drank like Seven Up and Sprite when I was sick, like as a kid. Yeah, I don't yeah, know me why, too. I that, was just told was to just, do it. Yeah, it was like <laughs> Sprite or Seven Up. I think like, like the, the carbonation in it is supposed to like help your stomach or something. Yeah, well, the ginger ale is supposed to help because ginger's oh, yeah. quite soothing. Have you ever heard Ultimately, of the bread diet? Yeah, uh, the the bread what diet? diet? Yeah, it's a uh, uh, bananas, rice, apples, toast. Those are like the four foods that are known Sounds- to not fuck with your stomach when you're on the flu. Oh, oh really? Oh yeah. yeah. Well, you can't eat a lot of it, but you can eat like a banana and a piece of toast. And Dude's like, like oh yeah, I had like a ribeye and like some <laughs> other, you know, mashed potatoes. <laughs> what, what, what I had was like spicy tacos the night before, and that stuff came up projectile like. So I had the same exact thing you had, <laughs> oh. but with me, what set it off was uh, slow cooked ribs. I ate I ate slow cooked ribs and immediately the next day I I, I remember taking my pillow into the bathroom and just sleeping in the bathroom. I didn't yeah, want it was to, pretty like, much that bad. I pretty much lived in the bathroom because it oh, was either I, coming out my butt or my mouth. It, you know, there was liquid flying everywhere. Yeah, I would I never that, wish I that kind of pain sick. on somebody. When yeah, I <laughs> when I was a kid, I used to like my mom would leave for work right as I would get up to go to school, and I'd turn the shower on, bring my pillow and blanket, and just sleep till she left, and, and then just go back to bed and stay home from school. <laughs> But you'd think I was in the shower, so I've slept in the bathroom too. But I wasn't sick. Oh, fair enough. I've never slept in the bathroom. And I think the worst sickness I had was like the flu that I can think of. Stomach flu? Really? Yeah. Or just like just the regular flu? flu? Oh. Uh, just the regular flu, I believe. God. This one time I lied to my mom so I could stay home for a week and play Skyrim. <laughs> I did that one time. <laughs> sick. What, what'd you tell her you had? I was just like, I don't feel good. Oh. <laughs> I would like. I would try some fuck shit. I'd grab like Campbell's soup out of the cupboard and like put it in the toilet and be like, yeah, I just threw up. And I'd be like, no, you didn't. <laughs> just looking there just chicken and, I, and noodles. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah. This alphabet <laughs> soup. <laughs> yeah, just like full it's unchewed like, Mama, chicken pieces. Up <laughs> just the a alphabet. whole fucking loaf of bread in the toilet. I threw up. <laughs> <laughs> Entire uncut pizza. <laughs> Mom, I threw up. <laughs> Still like half frozen. Fucking microwave in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, I don't feel good. Just pour a bunch of water in there. Back. Just full of water. <laughs> Big Mac. Just a full, <laughs> perfectly intact, floating Big Mac. Like Mom, a pelican, I threw you up. Swallow I your food s- whole. Mom, I gotta stay home. I threw up. Just a whole bag of McDonald's. Just in <laughs> <laughs> the wrappers are empty. It's just the wrapper. Oh my god. <laughs> It's a little cactus just point, sitting there. At that point, I just let my kids stay home for the creativity. Yeah, no. Like, if they went out of the way to, like, place McDonald's in the toilet unchewed and say yeah, they well threw up, yeah, just stay like home. creative. That's, like, retarded. I would just go along with it and be like, wow, you must be really sick. It's like... <laughs> yeah, make them sit in their bed. Don't let them play Xbox. Just tell them, like, oh, this is, like, one of the first signs of cancer when you're puking up, like, full of McDonald's. <laughs> like, full freaking McDonald's out. McDonald's Happy Meal yeah. in the toilet is the uh, first sign of cancer. Yeah, this is I how your grandfather like, died. I'm sending you to military school. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I was friends with this kid in high school, and his parents used to ground him every time he got sick. They thought he'd get sick and stay home from school, and they'd take away his up. Xbox for, like, a month. That sucks. <laughs> like, wow. It's like, what the fuck? It's so bizarre. Are they, like... Because they always, like, they never believed that he was sick. They always thought he was faking it so he could, like, play games or something. Because all he did was play video games. Mm-hmm. Like, so they would just take away all of his consoles and stuff for, like, a month. Like, his phone, everything. We'd be like, we'd ask him, like, three weeks after he was sick if he wanted to hang out. And be like, no, I'm grounded. <laughs> it's like, why? I was sick. Oh, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> so fucking bizarre. Do you guys feel like, like you have had COVID? No. Uh, like, oh, have no. you been sick My, in the no. past like month and you just kind of like it didn't it wasn't really that bad? No. 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 Uh, uh my girlfriend and I we went to Cuba and right when we got back she like died for like how long was it? Yeah, like a week and a half, 2 weeks. She mm. was just like completely out of it and had like a fever. Did you have a dry cough? Yeah, fever, dry cough, like every single symptom of it. And this was well before it was like like think, mainstream. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, she lost her sense of smell and taste as well, which is like another huge oh, thing. Yeah. Ooh, like yeah. And we still we still hung out and stuff. And like <laughs> I never got sick to my knowledge. Like I so I don't know. We wanted like get tested for antibodies at some point, but like 
I don't know, because the first place that it started to pop up outside of China really was like in the Caribbean area, which Cuba's not too far from. Like tourists definitely could overlap there. Mm. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I just so I had like I a month ago, I remember having like my nose was just stuffed up and I just had like a mild <laughs> cough. But I've heard like people getting COVID and it, it affects them like. Yeah, like, like hardly a very at all. small oh, kind yeah, of cold. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it could also be like completely asymptomatic, where you don't even have any symptoms of it. You just carry it. Yeah. Yep. So that's that's the scary ass part of it, because <laughs> then you could just be like, "Hi, Grandpa," and then Grandpa's dead because he gave him a hug. All right. Well, I think that's a good. Uh, I think that's a good note to end this podcast on. <laughs> dead Grandpa's. Dead Grandpa's. Grandpa's. <laughs> Yeah, it's been about uh, yeah, it's been a little bit over an hour. So yeah, I think. Uh, All right, cool. Like and subscribe. Tell your friend. Turn to the listen. bell on. Tell bell your grandpas. On. Get us Sub to, to all of our individual channels. Tell all of your grandpas on this goons. on this account, so I can put another plaque above my toilet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And don't hug your grandpa. Don't, don't hug, your grandpa. hug your grandpa. Yeah. Kiss your Call. grandpa on the lips right now. Call your mom and tell her you love her, or dad, or someone close to you. Or both your dads. We don't cough judge. in their mouth. Call your dog. Call your goldfish. Call your transsexual call your gerbil. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Would a transsexual gerbil have a cell phone? Probably in this day and okay, age. Okay, we should we should end it on that. All right, yeah. So, no, yeah. let's 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 expound on that. I want to talk about that for Trans a while. Trans gerbils. <laughs> and don't hug your grandpa. All right, thank you guys for watching the Goon Podcast. Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>